In this set of series of videos, I'm going to show you how to draw this example part. This is what you could do all in one example sketch. Let's go ahead and show you how to get there in multiple steps. The first thing we're going to do is right click on our package and create a part. We're going to use a blank template and validate. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch. By default, Top Solid uses the X axis as a revolution axis. Let's go ahead and switch this to Y and validate. Then we'll go ahead and activate the contour wizard and start drawing our shape. So we'll go straight down. You can see if I, I once I get close to the 180, that it automatically locks and it'll add that orientation for us as well. Once we get here, we can either hover back over the last line or we can simply right or left click on the last profile. Let's go ahead and add some dimensions now. Now, since we've added the correct revolution axis, we can use the revolution dimension constraint. So here we're going to go ahead and select this guy. This is 10.63. Top solid will keep everything too scaled when it can. Go ahead and add some more dimensions. Okay, so then we can go ahead and switch to regular constraints. We know this, the length of this guy is 3.5. Here we can go ahead and dimension these guys. This is 3 fourths. Here when we add the dimension, instead of entering another 3 quarters, we can go ahead and steal up a value by simply left clicking and validate. Here we're going to right click in space and choose Revolve. It's going to use the revolved axis of our sketch and validate. The next thing we have to do since we chose this route is add some drillings. So shape, drilling. Just select the top face. They'll select 0, 0. Here we can go down here to the hole. And the hole value size is the diameter is going to be 14.25 with a depth, a line depth of 1.5. Validate. Go ahead and do that again with the same spot selected. This time the diameter is going to be 12.5 with a depth of 3. And now we have our, our spun profile. Let's go ahead and add one more option to get the little groove. Here we have a built-in function in Top Solid called Groove and Shoulder. We go ahead and we can activate the centered rectangle. We go ahead and select our cylinder right here. You can see that we got an automatic frame produced in the middle of our part. So if I select this here, the value of this is 0.9. And the drivers in which we are going to activate are 0.35 inch and the offset of 0.22 inch. You can see we got a nice preview here. Go ahead and validate. And there's our spawn profile. 